G'day everyone, Ben the Spider Seeker here. Time for the first spider profile video. And we're starting with the big guns. Funnel web spiders. Now, as of 2018, within their own family called Atracidae. In this image is a female Atrax robustus, the Sydney funnel web. She's in a threat posture having been aggravated. The threat posture is similar to that of any mygalomorph really. It's also, they're also called primitive spiders. Largely bulky spiders with fangs pointing downwards. This means they need to bite downwards in order to pin and kill their prey, as well as bite anything threatening them. You can also see the venom drops developing, which is common in Atracidae, making it easier to milk their venom. Other spiders are often mistaken for funnel webs, including Lycosidae, or wolf spiders, which do build burrows like this one, but have a very different body structure and eye arrangement. There's also other mygalomorphs like trapdoor spiders and wishbone spiders, which while similar at a glance, have a very wide range of very fine differences, including the hairier carapace, which is easily visible in this image. A funnel web spider can be identified by a glossy black appearance of the carapace. That's the front body segment and the fangs project forward from the face and their eye arrangement. The eye arrangement has two rows. The bottom row is a straight line of four eyes. The top, four eyes separated into two pairs above the lower row. The two middle eyes in the top row often appear white and they are positioned in such a way that they seemingly taper down towards the center. The males are easier to identify thanks to a tibial spur on the second leg which is present in Atrax species, as shown in this image. It is, however, completely absent in Hadronici species, which are the two main genera of funnel webs. The usual measure of venom toxicity, the LD50 test or the median lethal dose test, doesn't account for the funnel web's lack of toxicity to animals other than humans and primates. It measures the lethal dose required to kill half a test sample, which is not tested on humans or other primates. This is significant since human tissue reacts about 50 times more strongly to the venom of funnel web spiders than mouse tissue. This makes it very difficult to ascertain just how venomous they are. Currently, the male Atrax robustus, or Sydney funnel web, holds the title as the most venomous in the funnel web family. There is no question though that they are dangerous and should be respected. A total of 13 recorded deaths have been attributed to funnel web spiders since European settlement. It is worth noting though, that there have been no deaths reported since 1981 when the antivenine was developed. The antivenine is prepared with the use of the venom from male Atrax robustus or Sydney funnel webs. The collection of the venom from the funnel webs is currently performed by the Australian Reptile Park at Summersby in New South Wales. They will actively accept donations of Sydney funnel web spiders for this program. The development of the antivenine is credited to Dr. Struan Sutherland and his team. This was immortalised in the name of Atrax Sutherlandi, a funnel web inhabiting the south coast of New South Wales. Fortunately though, funnel web spiders are not considered dangerous to your pets, only primates and their prey. So Winnie and Fezzik here are completely safe. Funnel web spiders usually mate during the warmer months being around November to April or May, depending how warm the year is. The mature adult males wander in search of their burrowing mates. They will sacrifice all other aspects of their lives, no longer eating or residing in permanent shelters. I've sped this section up as it appears in a previous video, but it's possible to see that the male gradually and carefully approaches the female, who is significantly larger. This is always a high risk operation, and unsuccessful pairings can result in the male being killed. It's during the mating period when most contact with humans occurs, as the males will accidentally wander into yards and homes. With the males carrying a more potent venom, this can create a higher than normal level of risk. It is however generally not an ideal habitat for the spiders, as there are no mates to be found inside houses, nor is there many safe hiding spaces. It's worth remembering though, that despite their fearsome reputation, these spiders more often than not will avoid contact with humans. Since humans are too large to be prey, spiders have little interest in being around us. More often than not, funnel webs die as a result of contact with humans. 
The female spiders generally stay inside or fairly close to their burrow. This is where they hunt from. In this clip you can see a female funnel web slowly move into position to grab its prey before striking, then withdrawing into the burrow. The trip lines can also be seen, radiating away from the burrow, letting her know there is something approaching. In considering the risk these spiders pose to humans, there's a few important factors. While the LD50 rating is not clear, funnel web spiders are most certainly dangerously venomous, with males estimated to carry a venom seven times more potent than that of the females. The male Atrax robustus, or Sydney funnel web, is still estimated as the first or second most venomous spider in the world, depending on the source of your information. When contact does occur, these spiders become quite defensive, rearing up and producing venom drops. It's also important to consider the chances of coming into contact with humans and the distance from help. The natural habitat of funnel webs is forests. The wandering habit of males, though, does increase the risk of contact significantly as well as the constant expansion of cities and towns. The range of funnel webs is mostly along the eastern coast of Australia, also coinciding with some of the most heavily populated cities. This does, however, mean that help is usually close at hand, a great contributor to the lack of deaths since 1981. In considering these factors, I've provided the following ratings. Venom has received two ratings, the male getting 10 out of 10, the female 9 out of 10. Defensiveness is 10 out of 10. And while their habit is usually forested, being close to populated areas with wandering males brings up the contact rating to 8 out of 10. Distance to help, again, being close to cities means hospitals are close by, reducing the rating to a mere 4 out of 10. Still bearing in mind that there are some remote areas within the ranges, leading to an overall rating of 8 out of 10. A bite from one of these spiders is a medical emergency, but help is normally able to be reached within half an hour. Hopefully this information has been helpful in clearing up some of the myths surrounding funnel webs. Overall a beautiful spider, best admired from a safe distance. Thanks for watching everyone, I've been Ben the Spider Seeker, and you've been great. See you next time.